guys this is Praveen from Automation Studio and within this video we are going to see how to create a video using edit plugin in Eclipse on Mac so here I have written the complete uh, document or blog for that so each and every step is what I have covered here so uh, for the beginner level people who want to learn uh, how uh, Android AVD works uh, with the test development or so this blog can be helpful for them but nowadays so many open source emulators are available like JD Motion and uh, so many others uh, people are using frequently and uh, uh, that their performance is uh, uh, pretty much good as compared to the uh, Android AVD uh, but for the beginner level it would be a good start so this article and this video will help uh, people uh, to learn how they can create a AVD using the editing plugin itself uh, from the Eclipse. So let's just start with that. Okay, so let's just start. So here is my Eclipse. So let's open the Eclipse and then uh, this is the Android uh, SDK manager. <coughs> so make sure you have a necessary uh, in the within the SDK manager you have necessary downloads is already available like extra tools and all and this is my uh, Android uh, visual device so let's have a look so this is the detail uh, what I have given here so make sure uh, the above four or five uh, components you have to uh, you know provide here so I have taken these inputs from already uh, predefined you know uh, AVD <coughs> which I'm going to show you after that screen so uh, here is the tab so here a list of already uh, list of device which is uh, pre-configured is available here so I have used Nexus 5 here so just you can pick this and you can say create device so while creating the device I have faced one issue which is uh, Intel HRM related issue so I have resolved it by this following this uh, you know uh, guidelines so go to uh, as Android SDK directory and within that you have to go extra and then Intel and then after that you have to execute this DMG file <coughs> after installing this DMG file your uh, you know error will be gone so I, I was able to successfully launch my AVD so let's start my AVD so I'm going to start it so this is the way how to start just select the AVD and press the start button now it will take some time to load because on the first time it will take uh, some time <coughs> because it's a first launch so it will consume some memory it depends how fast is your system so this is how your <coughs> You know the AVD looks like when it will start booting. So Android level will comes up. <coughs> and now it's loading. So once the uh, loading is completed, then it should show you like the home screen, like in your Android regular devices. <coughs> yeah so now the boot is completed so here is your AVD is launched so like that you can launch your AVD in order to execute your Android test cases so I hope this video will help you so thank you for the watching thank you